I'm Jane Lunnan. I'm with the Ashe County Arts Council in West Jefferson, and I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. You know, September brings so many wonderful opportunities to be out and about in all our communities. And a drive to nearby West Jefferson and all that Ashe County has to offer will be a delight to the senses and a treat for those of you that are looking for an arts adventure. Let's begin with a Backstreet Park concert. It'll take place on the first Friday in September. That's September 5th. We'll feature bluegrass band Carolina Crossing. The music kicks off at 5.30 and runs until 7 o'clock. It's a free event in the Backstreet Park. We invite you to bring a lawn chair, a blanket, a picnic supper, sit out under the, 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 the beautiful mountain air and enjoy some really great music. This is sponsored by the West Jefferson Community Partnership. That weekend, we are delighted to be bringing into the high country pianist Emil Pandolfi. Pandolfi has a following all his own, and he's not a stranger to audiences in the high country. He'll be performing at the Ash Civic Center on Saturday evening, September 6th at 7.30 p.m., and a Sunday matinee on September 7th at 2 o'clock. These concerts take place in the Ash Civic Center Theater Auditorium. It is reserved seating, and ticket price is $22 for adults and $5 for students. If you've not heard Emil before, it's a concert you don't want to miss. If you've heard him before, you know you'll want to be there. Emil is a classically trained pianist, and he grew up at the feet of some of uh, comedy and improv's best performers playing background music while they did their routines. So his comedic timing, his theatrical ability combined with his wonderful pian piano talents is just uh, not to be missed. Emil will also be featuring guest vocalist Dana Russell. Dana will be joining Emil on some of the numbers. Be some of your favorite Broadway tunes, pops, a little bit of classic, lots of humor, a great engaging piano performance. Saturday, September 6th, Sunday the 7th, sponsored by the Ashe County Arts Council, and it's at the Ashe Civic Center. You'll want to join crawlers all throughout the streets of West Jefferson on the second Friday of every month. September 12th will be the next in our series of gallery crawls. 16 galleries open in downtown West Jefferson gives you a chance to meet the artist, to see incredible new artwork, and to enjoy all that the arts have to offer, the visual arts, in downtown West Jefferson. While you're walking or crawling, take a look at the murals, the Arts on Fire painted fire hydrants project, the uh, Wildflowers of Ash painted pedestals project. There's lots going on with the visual arts in Ashe County. And during that crawl, as a companion piece to the upcoming literary festival, you'll find street readers. Usually, we feature street musicians. But this time, we'll have poets and writers and readers scattered throughout the street, reading some of their own work and reading some of the works of their favorite authors. This, as I said, is a jump start to the On the Same Page Literary Festival. The Literary Festival takes place as a partnership between the Ash County Arts Council and the Public Library, September 16th through the 20th. We're featuring about a dozen artists, two dozen events, multiple venues, and a variety of events and activities. This is the seventh year for the festival, and it will feature a number of well-known authors doing author readings with questions and answers some writing workshops, a poetry workshop, some dining events. It's a full slate of activities and events. You can find out the full schedule of information about On the Same Page on that festival's website, and that's onthesamepagefestival.org. More information about that coming up soon. But one of the featured events of On the Same Page Festival is the return of Elliot Engel to the high country. Elliot will be presented on Tuesday evening, the 16th, in the gallery of the Ash Art Center at 7.30, and he'll be doing a light history of the English language. Elliot is an author, he's a lecturer, he's a literary historian, and he brings snippets of everything you always wanted to know about an author, or in this case, about the English language, in a very engaging, fast-paced, humorous, entertaining presentation. September 16th, 7.30, in the Gallery of the Art Center, Elliot Engel with a light history of the English language. 
And then rounding out the month and arts events that the Arts Council is involved in is our annual outdoor arts and crafts show called Art on the Mountain. We'll have three dozen artists and craftsmen located right outside the Ash Art Center. Uh, we'll be featuring potters, uh, some authors, basket weavers, weaving, fiber arts, painters, photographers, a whole host of craft artists, all in a beautiful outdoor setting right at the Ash Art Center. This event takes place on Saturday, the 27th, from 9 until 3. It's a free event, and uh, we invite you to come out and have a sampling of some of the fine, fine uh, arts and crafts folks that are here in the region for Art on the Mountain. And also a quick reminder that the uh, West Jefferson Antiques Fair will take place in the streets of downtown West Jefferson on Friday and Saturday the 19th and 20th of September. As you can tell, there's lots going on in the arts in the high country and in Ashe County. We invite you to give us a call at the Ashe County Arts Council, 336-846-2787. Check us out on the website, ashcountyarts.org, or better yet, just come on over to West Jefferson. Come to 303 School Avenue at the Ash Art Center. We'll fill you in on all the details. We'll see you in September.